wearing a closed guard and I've got a double sleeve grip. I don't really worry too much if he has a grip on my gi here, even if he has the hand here, whatever. I'm going to break the grip with the spider guard. Hook grip, grab, hook grip. Okay. Go ahead, grip's okay. I'm going to open my guard, place my foot in the hip. The other leg's going to do the same thing. I lift my butt, slide, bring my knees inside here, just like this. It's very important that my feet's in the hips. I've got the hook grip, and I'm twisting and pulling, and my knees point out. Okay? Now, as I pull forward a little bit, you see how he has to step? He's going to step every time. This gives me now the element to do a lot of different attacks. And what we're going to do today, simple. I'm going to move my hip a little bit to the side and bring my foot to his shoulder. I'm going to start to push here. Okay? I'm just going to push. Then I'm going to let this slide off and bring him forward with my pelvis to make my triangle. Hand goes across. Adults grab the head. Kids grab the knees. Okay? I'm going to do it again. Please, uh, Jesse can do it on you so Thomas can see from the I have my close guard. I get my grip first thing, okay? If he has this leg back, um, or this hand back, I would probably go for the hip here. If he had both hands here, it really doesn't matter, okay? But I'm going to get my grip. I want to open, place my foot in the hip. Bring my second foot to the hip. You see how both my knees are on the outside now, which is okay. I want to lift and slide myself back. My knees come in and I'm going to spread. You see how when I pull him, you see how he has to step? He has to come forward when I pull him here. Now, some of you may have a little bit of a hard time with flexibility getting your foot there. That's why I said move your hip a little to the side. You see I'm, you see that I'm still maintaining pressure? My foot now comes to the shoulder, not to the bicep like I would normally do. I go to the shoulder. Because what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting this to slip off. As this slips off, my hips are lifting and I'm pulling him forward with this hand and this leg. And I'm all, now I'm already in the right angle. That's why my hips shifted a little bit. I'm in the right angle. The pull, grab my shin. Don't grab the foot. Okay? Grab your shin, pull, lock the triangle. If his hand's over here, sometimes I have to lift my hips and push it over. And then I go here and submit him with a triangle, okay? All right.